Okay, hello everyone. I'm Magnus. I'm going to talk a little bit about, about uh, metadata in cloud init and how it works. Uh, first of all, what is the metadata service? Uh, it's a service that lets uh, instances retrieve instance-specific information. Basically, uh, it could be information, basic information about the instance, like the host name, the IP address is uh, assigned to it, uh, static routes, or SSH keys. It can also be user data or vendor data, which is a way to send information basically to the virtual machine so that it can act upon uh, in a uh, well-defined way. Uh, it can be, the, you can set default settings, uh, for example, setting up NTP, or you could uh, bootstrap a machine for uh, running Chef or Puppet, or um, you could also basically just run commands on it or um, uh, inject shell scripts or files if that's what you want. Uh, generally, all of this is handled on the instance by a service uh, uh, called Cloud Init. But you can also look at the uh, instance, uh, uh, the, the, the metadata from directly from the virtual machine with, for example, curl to take a better look at it, how it, it actually looks. Uh, in this example, uh, the first one is uh, uh, making a request to the link local address of 169.254.169.254. And it will get, uh, and the, this, this URL is uh, the URL to get what kind of information you can get out uh, from the metadata. And in this example, I have uh, further down uh, pulled out the host name of the virtual machine and uh, the public IPv4 address. Uh, you can also get the user data, as, we, as I talked about earlier. And in this simple uh, cloud config example, uh, it will set uh, the default username and password. Uh, it will also set uh, enable SSH password authentication in this case. And it will set package upgrade to true, which will make uh, the virtual machine upgrade its uh, packages when, uh, when it boots, you make sure you're up to date. Uh, and in this case also sets uh, a mirror for um, the app repository to uh, a local one to speed things up while installing or upgrading. So, how does it work? Um, as I mentioned, uh, it, uh, the instance will make an, uh, or rather a process in the instance will make a request to 169.254, 169.254. And that is generally the cloud init process that does this. Um, this will follow the default route for the machine and end up in the router namespace which uh, then has a uh, uh, IP tables redirect rule that will redirect uh, uh, the request to port 9697, still inside the namespace. Uh, on port 9697 TCP, uh, a process called Neutron NS Metadata Proxy is listening. And this process is, uh, there is one of those processes run in each namespace. Uh, the metadata proxy will add a few headers. Uh, it will add an X forwarded for uh, and the instance IP and an X neutron router ID with the router UUID. And this is necessary for um, the next step to know where, where this uh, request is coming from. Uh, the request is then forwarded through uh, a Unix socket uh, to neutron metadata agent. And the Neutron Metadata Agent is uh, running on the network node, not inside the namespace anymore. Uh, and it listens on the socket, uh, which is normally varlib Neutron Metadata Proxy by default. And it will communicate with uh, the public OpenStack APIs to find out some more information where, with the uh, information it already got. It will primarily talk to Nova and Neutron. And with this information, it can add a couple of more headers that are needed for uh, uh, actually doing the re request. Uh, and those headers are the X instance ID, which is, which is uh, the instance UUID, and the X tenant ID, which is the ID of the tenant that uh, owns the, um, the instance. 
Also, there is a X instance ID signature added, which is a, a cryptographic HMAC uh, that is done over the C a shared secret uh, and the instance ID. Uh, the request is then forwarded to the Nova API, uh, the metadata service in the API. Uh, which actually re uh, finds out the information that you have requested and sends a response with the requested information back to the, to the instance. Any questions? Yes? Is the metadata service regarded as safe or unsafe for communicating secrets to the, to the, the instance? Like, is it possible, for instance, to spoof and get metadata for a different instance or instance outside of tenants? It's, it's meant not to be able to spoof it. I'm not sure. It, it's, you, you would probably have to go to, through your own risk analysis. I wouldn't, by default, say it's safe, uh, or I wouldn't say that it's clearly unsafe. It depends on your risk analysis. But it's intended not to be sensitive to any incoming... No, you, you shouldn't be able to just spoof anything and, uh, and uh, kind of just request another virtual machine's uh, uh, information. But it's still... You have, you have to kind of look at exactly how secure that um, those mechanisms are for you. Yes? So how do you deal with ironic BMNO on hardware VTIP top racks? We have this problem all the time. We have a, you know, we're new eyes, we have our own obvious kind of drop in replacement. But when we have a top of rack with a BMNO that we're booting, we yep. can't just put the loop back onto that instance, right? So we have to figure out we use config drivers, the only way to really do it is just inject the config driver into the image where we have all our freeze was. Yeah, prob so, well, how would you deal with that? I guess it's an open question. I would probably just use config drive, yeah. But I haven't actually looked very much into Ironic uh, in those cases. So, But uh, config drive sounds for like a... For our, for our clients, I mean, we're talking yeah. about big deployments here. Because, I mean, Ironic, especially in, in the sort of telco spaces where it's at now, uh, they want to be able to be, be able to move their, their what was off their, their HP Insight legacy sort of stuff. Now it's all being done with Ironic, right? Yep. So, so the metadata service at the moment is a big problem because the, the loopback doesn't work in those situations. No. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you know if there's like any work to kind of look at how to move forward with this? No, I'm not sure about that. Um, sorry. Yes? Which service is actually responsible for generating that uh, the final metadata response? Is the Nova API service, is that right? Yes, so that's correct. not a Nova metadata service? No, not a separate metadata service. It's uh, built into the Nova, Nova API. Yeah. Okay, thank you.